Social media is an essential part of any modern marketing strategy. And having a social media marketing virtual assistant or a social media digital marketing team like ours can really be a valuable asset in helping you grow your presence on social media. Everything from developing a content calendar to researching hashtags and engaging with your followers, all the way through to creating social media ads, there are so many ways that a virtual digital marketing team can really help you reach a much wider audience, build those relationships, and increase the visibility and effectiveness of your social media efforts. Hello and welcome to another episode of Digital Marketing Made Simple. I'm your host, Jenny Lyon, and today I wanted to chat about eight ways that you can use a digital marketing team to grow your social media presence. Let's dive into it. So as a small business owner or entrepreneur, you likely have a lot on your plate. And you probably don't have the time, the energy, the expertise to really put everything that you should into managing and growing your social media presence. And this is where having a team behind you can be very, very useful. So a team like ours can really help you to save time and focus on the more important parts of your business. You know, those things that only you can do. And by taking some of those projects and tasks and responsibilities off of your plate and moving them, you know, you can really get a fresh perspective and new ideas to really make your social media strategy shine. And this can really help to grow that overall presence and reach your overall marketing and business goals. So whether you're just starting out on social media or you're really looking to take your efforts to the next level, then definitely listen in. And if I can be of any assistance, please reach out. So developing a content calendar for social media is the first step in really creating an effective plan that you can plan out all of your social media in advance. So this really helps to ensure consistent flow of content. It makes it easier to manage your social media presence and it can really help you to align your social media efforts with other marketing and business goals. So that could be anything from promoting a new product launch to simply driving traffic to your website. And to create a, a content calendar, you can really brainstorm a list of topics or themes and then assign those themes to a specific date. So I do have a social media content calendar that you can grab at jennylion.com forward slash social media calendar, and you can really use it to organize all of your posts. So I like to do mine quarter by quarter, but you can do it month by month. You can do it a whole year at once, whatever works out best for you. But this can really help you to save time and effort in the long run and create a more cohesive and effective social media strategy. To go along with the strategy itself, you really need to have an airtight posting schedule if you want to increase engagement with your followers. So regularly posting content and promotions on social media, it's a must, and you definitely don't want to miss posts. So having a really great scheduler, that's something that you definitely want as well. I use my scheduling system to keep track of all of my posting schedule. So definitely check out the content calendar. I'll also link to some of my favorite scheduling tools in the show notes so you can check those out as well. Next up is the importance of researching social media hashtags. So social media hashtags are a very important part of social media marketing, and it can really help to increase the visibility of your content and make it more discoverable to users. So in short, a hashtag is a word or phrase that is preceded by that little hashtag, or as in my day, we called it the pound sign. <laughs> I'm dating myself, that is used to identify and categorize social media posts on a particular topic. So when you include relevant hashtags in your social media posts, it really makes it easier for users who are interested in that specific topic to find your content. And there are several ways that you can research hashtags. You can use a hashtag research tool to find popular hashtags within your industry. 
You could simply search for a keyword or a phrase on social media to see which hashtags are being used by others. And you can also consider really using a mix of popular and really niche hashtags to reach a wider audience while targeting specific user groups. And we do have a hashtag holiday calendar too that you can grab at jennylion.com forward slash hashtag calendar that you can download and it lists out every single hashtag holiday for the year. And it can be a really great way to help create content that's going to stand out from everyone else's and reach a larger audience on social media. Next up is really engaging with your community. So engaging with followers on social media, it's really a very important part that I see a lot of people skip because it takes a lot of time, but it's really important for building those relationships and fostering loyalty. So when users leave comments or messages on your social media posts, you need to respond promptly and honestly. This can really help to show your followers that the value that you put and what they have to say and that you're interested in hearing from them. And there are several ways to engage with followers on social media. So you can simply respond to comments or messages. You can ask for feedback or input, or you can simply start a conversation. But you can also share user-generated content or feature your followers in your posts, which can help to build a sense of community and encourage others to engage with your content as well. Then in addition of community and encouraging comments and messaging, then you can also consider using social media polls or surveys really to gather information about what your audience is interested in. And by engaging with your followers in this way, you can really build stronger relationships and again, encourage that loyalty to your brand on social media. And if you're having a bit of a hard time tracking all of your social media efforts, I have another download for you. This is a good one. I have a weekly social media checklist that will just give you a little checkbox that you can check off as you do everything that you should do in a week on social media. So you can grab that at jennylion.com forward slash social media. Okay. Next up is really staying on top of your metrics. So monitoring and analyzing your social media metrics, it's a really important part of understanding the effectiveness of your social media efforts and identifying those areas that need improvement. So there are many different types of metrics that you can track on social media. So that can include things like the number of likes, comments, shares, you know, how many people um, followed your account, you know, the different types of levels of engagement that you receive. And by tracking these metrics over time, you'll really start to see what's working well and what isn't or needs to be adjusted. So again, there are several tools available that you can use to help track and analyze your social media metrics. So you could use, you know, social media analytics, you could you know, check into the native analytic tools that are offered inside the platforms themselves. And you can use those tools to really compare your performance to that of your competitors or benchmark data to see how you stack up against others in the industry. And by monitoring and analyzing your social media metrics really closely, you can really make more informed decisions about your social media strategy and the focus that you really should have. Where should you focus those efforts? What's most likely gonna drive the biggest results for you? Next up is creating social media ads. So social media ads can be a very effective way to reach a wider audience and drive immediate traffic to your website. Social media platforms offer various types of advertising options, anything from sponsored posts, promoted posts, display ads that can be targeted to specific users based on their interests, demographics, or even their location. And to create a social media ad, you really wanna start by defining your target audience and determining your budget. Then you'll need to create the ad copy, design visuals, record videos, you know, all of that fun stuff that you'll need to use to set up the ad. Then you'll need to choose your ad placement, set up any of the necessary tracking or conversion pixels. And then once that ad is set up, you can track its performance and make adjustments as needed to optimize those results. And by creating social media ads, again, 
you can reach a much larger audience and drive targeted traffic to your website, which in turn just helps you achieve your business goals faster. And I have another download for you. I am full of them this week. <laughs> I have a Facebook ad writing workbook. So if you're just starting to dabble with Facebook ads or Instagram ads, jump over and grab it at jennylion.com forward slash Facebook ads. All right, next up is collaborating with social media influencers. This can be a very valuable part of any social media marketing strategy as it can really help you reach a new audience and really establish your brand. So an influencer is simply a person who has a larger social media following that can really help to influence the purchasing decision of their followers. And to collaborate with an influencer, you'd wanna reach out to them directly and offer to work with them on a campaign or a project. So this might involve sponsoring a post or a product review or offering a discount or a giveaway to their followers. But it's really important to research and choose influencers who align with your brand and your target audience. And you want to be really transparent about any type of sponsored content. But by collaborating with influencers, you really get to tap into their large and engaged following and gain social media credibility and exposure for your brand. So if you haven't tried it, it's definitely worth thinking about. Next up are one of my favorite social media contests and giveaways. I do these all the time for a lot of my clients and they can be so much fun and also a really effective way to engage with followers and attract new ones. So contests and giveaways can take a lot of different types of forms. You might request that people enter by liking, commenting or sharing content or asking users to create their own content or vote for a winner. But whatever you choose, you want to run a social media contest or giveaway. You need to make sure that you have really defined roles. So you want to have the roles and choose a prize and decide on the method of selecting the winner. And of course, you'll need to promote the contest or giveaway to encourage other people to participate. And it's also important to follow any relevant laws or you know, platform policies when running a contest or giveaway. Make sure that you're really transparent around the terms and the conditions. But these are great for increasing engagement, building excitement around your brand, and really building up that social media presence. Last but not least is staying up to date on the latest trends. So social media and trends are important and they're important for any social media strategy. And it can really be a great way to stay relevant and effective. So social media, it's constantly evolving. All the time there's new features, best practices. Every day there's something new. And you wanna make sure that you're following you know, information that can really help you to keep that social media strategy really up to date. So whether that's, you know, subscribing to this podcast or, you know, checking out our blogs or our YouTube videos. And you can also keep an eye on social media platforms themselves, as they often will announce new features or updates that are going to impact your strategy. But by staying up to date on those latest trends, you'll really ensure that your social media efforts are always fresh and aligned with the current and best practices, which can really help to stay ahead of the curve and make the most of your social media marketing efforts. So what are our action steps for this week? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're going to schedule a month's worth of social media. So right now you'll wanna jump over to jennylion.com forward slash social media calendar, hit pause, go ahead and get that downloaded. Then you'll wanna open that up and start to map out the next month of your content. And if you're struggling with content, take a listen to last week's episode on engaging ways to double your social media. We talked about how to create seven different topics for seven days of the week. So check that out and get started mapping out that content. Next step is to make sure that you include as many hashtags as you can for each platform for each post. So start with hashtags that surround whatever the topic of your post is and do some that are, you know, low density, mid density, high density keywords. 
And if you're struggling with um, hashtags at all, I do have that hashtag calendar that you can grab at jennylion.com forward slash hashtag, which can get you started. Then once you have everything mapped out, you'll go ahead and get that scheduled. So I, I have a lot of different schedulers that I use for my clients. I really love the later app. So pick one of the schedulers and go ahead and get all of your content scheduled. Then once you have the content scheduled, download our weekly social media checklist, which you can grab at jennylion.com forward slash social media and use it to engage with your audience for at least 15 minutes each day for the next seven days. If you don't have time to engage, this is a very important part to not skip. I see so many people creating all this beautiful content that they put out, but they don't take any time to engage. So the presence never grows. So again, it's social media for a reason. You have to be social on it. So if you don't have the time, then it would be something for your virtual assistant or your digital marketing team, wink, wink. And we can really take that part off your plate as it really is a crucial part in growing the presence. Then at the end of the month, you want to sit down, spend a little bit of time monitoring and analyzing your metrics. You know, create a reminder in your calendar right now for the end of the month and just jump into the insights or again, have your virtual assistant or your digital marketing team take a look and really track and analyze key metrics, you know, such as the number of likes, comments, shares, you know, all of the information that you're going to need to see what posts worked really well and where is there room for improvement. Okay, next up is get a boost. So for a quick boost on social media growth and for your website traffic, it's time to start playing with social media ads or collaborating with influencers or even running a contest or a giveaway. But give one of those a try this month because I guarantee it doesn't matter which one you pick, if you do it correctly, it will have a huge surge in your social media growth. And last but not least is stay up to date and rinse and repeat. So again, make sure that your virtual assistant or your social media marketing team is really staying on top of the latest social media marketing trends that are going to ensure that your strategy is always relevant and effective. Once you have that strategy that works, it's important to stay on top of it. You have to continually tweak it as needed and then it's just rinse and repeat. You run it, you check your analytics, you tweak and you run it again. So in conclusion, we discussed eight different strategies that your social media virtual assistant or your social media digital marketing team can really use to help grow your presence on social media. It's really guaranteed to save time. It's going to help you to gain new ideas, new perspectives, new followers, and also be able to focus on other areas of your business where your genius is really necessary. And of course, as always, if you are struggling with social media, please reach out. I'm always happy to hop on a call. You can do so at jennylion.com forward slash chat with Jenny. Our team is a very valuable partner in helping you succeed on social media and achieve those overall marketing goals. All right. Well, that's what I have for you this week on Digital Marketing Made Simple. If you like what you've heard on the podcast, please do consider rating and reviewing my show. I would absolutely love that. You can just, you know, scroll on over to wherever you're listening to this podcast. Usually just scroll down to the bottom, tap to rate with five stars and write a review. I would absolutely love to hear what episodes you enjoy the most. And of course, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and subscribe to the podcast as I'll be adding new content every single week. And I want to make sure that you don't miss out. All right. Well, that's what I have for you this week. I'll see you next time. See you soon.